All right, back again with Final Fantasy VIII uh, playthrough on the remake, remaster, and we're gonna be escaping Dalit this time around. So, if you remember, we had uh, Biggs activate something, and this just so happens to be it. There is a timer to get out of town. Not too big of a deal though. So the idea here is we have to uh, attack this thing until we can run away. So we have to knock it down. So yeah, you just want to run away from it. You can beat this boss, but it doesn't benefit you in any way here. So, and so it's going to continue to chase after us this whole time. The idea is just to get away. The I don't think you're required to fight the boss anymore for the rest of the run, uh, but you have to be doing everything perfectly. At that part right there, you have to be running to the side. When you're running down this hill, you're supposed to actually walk down because if you run down this hill, it's gonna jump down and knock you off balance and it'll catch up to you. So you walk down right there. Everywhere else you run and you should be able to stay away from it. The next tricky part to actually not get into another battle is gonna be this bridge right here. So as you're running, it'll chase after you and then it's gonna jump over you like that. Then you're gonna to wanna to run the opposite way and it's gonna jump back over you. So you just do that until you get across the bridge. And you will get a better score as long as you, the least, like for your seed rank, the least amount of times you fight it. You don't wanna fight it a lot if you're going for a high seed rank, a high seed rank. Squad C, withdraw. Rogers.
Now we gotta go back to the garden and we're going to get our seed rain. So here we go. Seed fruit. How'd it go? Man, all they did was get in my way. Being a leader ain't easy. Safe? Good job. Where's Seifer? Just be back at Garden by sundown. You're free till then. Okay, dismissed. Alright. So he has Shiva, Infrit, and Questico. Right, got our Magic Tree Junction now. Check our GFs, and we're going to equip Siren to someone. Which I'm going to equip Siren to Squall because I want him to have the. Uh, Status Junction ability, so Status Attack, Status Defense, and also we're going to start learning Life Magic Recovery, so this is going to allow us to make high level um, recovery magic from items, and uh, those items, like a, I haven't looked at my items a bit, but uh, I have a ton of items now, this is because of a uh, the card game so when you use the cards and you refine them you'll start like the cards will refine into a bunch of items um, and since I'm here I'm going to go on and show this um, so Quispus learns her her uh, limit break abilities through items so like this she can learn ultra waves um, you can get these items many ways like spider's web comes from uh, the caterpillars in the forest and things like that now I'm just going to use for the most part I'm only going to use uh, items uh, I mean uh, cards to get these items and as you can see I've got quite a few here that Christus is going to be learning um, once she learns them one time that's all she can learn them so there's no real point to having more than one of these each but uh, you know you can sell them and use them for other things as well, I guess. Uh, but that's all you can do out of that for now, I think. But things these can also be used for is like when you go to uh, making magic out of them. So like uh, their ability, like thunder, lightning, and wind magic. So I can get thunders, thunderas, which is the second level. Or yeah, that's the second level as well. Thunder, uh, arrows. And uh, some big ones that will come up later are going to be like Tornado and all those things junction very well. So, yeah, that's how you can do that. Um, I'm going to go on and make these into Thunderous. Uh, and I'm going to give them to Selfie. So that she has that to junction. And I don't think there's anything that I really want to do with these. Here's our water all that much. Liver, uh, water. Okay. Rejunction selfie real quick since she has this new. And Squall is going to get the new GF Siren. Now I'm also going to check this here on the magic. So as you can see, sleep is on my attack. So now when I hit enemies, I have a, a chance to put them to sleep. And as soon as on my uh, defense, so this is why I wanted to draw as soon as earlier, sooner rather than later. It's going to give me a protection to all of these stats elements, uh, stats elements for 20%. That way it's harder to uh, affect me with them. All right. That's just part of getting to be the most busted character available.
<laughs> hey! Not again. There goes Mr. Ego. Might as well walk it. So, Cypher just, you know, stole our ride back. No big deal. Uh, walking's fine. We want to stop in at uh, Zell's house anyways, so we can get the Zell card. To get the Zell card, you have to have Zell in your party. And, um... You have to have Zell in your party, and of course to be able to win. But his card is going to come from his mom, which is in this building. Yep. Zell, what a surprise. Are these your friends? But don't make yourself too comfortable. So we're just gonna go and uh we're going to go into this other room real quick. There's a magazine over here on the floor. We want to pick it up. Timber Maniacs. Uh, it's a fake one. Look around. That's fine. Go back. And Zell's not going to let us up into his room at this time. So that's my room. It's sacred. So just keep out. Alright, now we're going to try to play his mom in cards. Doing this now as well is the best idea because you have the least amount of rules on you, which makes the game a lot easier. And we didn't get lucky. So I'm going to cut it here until we get to Zell actually playing, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, and she's finally chosen to play Zell, so now we're just gonna win it. And uh, this is uh, the first chance you're gonna have to obtain the Zell card. Zell is a very good card in my opinion. Um, obviously there's better ones later in the game, but as of right now, at this point in the game, yeah, it's probably the best card in my opinion. So, we'll just take this W and get on, get on with the game. Now, it didn't take very long to get Zell, um, but it did take a little bit of time. She doesn't like to play it right off the bat, all, always, so you might have to sit around for a little bit, but it's well, it's pretty easy to get, so. Right, let's turn that off. Let's take a look around the town. So this lady right here is Queen of Cards. If you play her in, uh, throughout the game, certain things will happen and stuff like that. So this is the first chance you get to play her. And uh, I think we are gonna play her right now. Yeah, so we're gonna play the Queen of Cards in cards right now. So the, the idea here is to, uh, or, or first we're gonna save. So the idea here is to uh, we want to lose Minimata card to her, um, but we do want a set outcome. We want her to go to Dalit next. So this is the Queen of Cards quest, uh, and um, also we're gonna pick up this Timber Maniac here before we save. So the Queen of Cards quest, uh, you do it and you get a bunch of rare cards later on. So uh, you can start it now. Uh, it won't finish until this four, though. There's two two options here, if I'm not mistaken, that she can go to, and those two options are Dealing City or Dalit. And you really want her to go to Dalit right now, so. But you need to be careful doing this quest because you don't want the trade rules to change. You want them to stay the same. Also, you don't want to lose any uh, of your good cards to her. Other than the one that you want to lose, which I want to lose Nimrod. So, I'm just going to play very badly and hope she wins. <laughs> And if uh, she doesn't win, or she goes to the wrong place, um, you just want to reload your save game.
this region is getting bored, I'm going to head towards Dalit. So she's headed to Dalit, which is exactly what I want. And uh, she's going to go on to Dalit, and we're done with that quest for now. Um, if you want, you can uh, make a new weapon now, I think. Yep, so Squall can get his next uh, Shear Trigger. Uh, Zell can get Maverick. Twist his Slaying Tail. And Selfie can't get anything right now. So, uh, I'm not going to do anything on the weapons yet. Uh, I'm going to wait until I get to Dealing City. That way I'll have more cards, more equipment, and things like that to uh, make. And hopefully I can make uh, better weapons. I should be able to get... Uh, I hmm, might be able to get Squall's Ultimate and then somebody else might get something. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna. I got some. Uh, I'm gonna train against some of the falcon fish. I got a few abilities I want the GFs to learn, which are like the magic refinements, and then I will be right back. All right. All right. And so now we've got our GFs uh, abilities up. The ability I really wanted to get was uh, the siren uh, life magic. Next to them, put it on recovery, and I went on and also had Quetzalcoatl learn. Mid magic refinery, which is going to allow you to take all that level one magic to level two magic if you want. And the reason why I wanted the life magic is just so I can make things like Kiragas, which are, you know, it's going to be busted at this point in the game. I can make Kiragas, I can make lives, full lives, region rings, uh, regime, uh, cures, cures, death. Stuff like that. Um, death, not the most useful, but you can put it on a junction. Um, Curus and uh, regions are going to be your, uh, are the two that I think are the best personally. So uh, at this point in the game, of course. So all right, but you see why I did it. That's uh, let me go on and make some of these. So I'm gonna give the regime to Nomad. And I'm gonna give some deaths to Selfie just because she doesn't have much on the uh, she doesn't have much in terms of magic to be junctioning and death junction. Uh, pretty decently, not the greatest, but um yep. At some point I will convert all that, but I don't really want to right now, so let's move on back to the uh, garden. Ooh, ah, finally made it back. Seriously. Well, I guess we just wait for the test results. Till then, see ya, Nomad. See ya. So this is also a reason why you want to grab Zell's card before you come back. Because you won't have Zell in your party if you wait. And he has to be in your party or his mom won't play the card. So. And now what you want to do is we're going to have to go and uh, wait. So we gotta go to our, oh, we're going right here. Mission complete. I think we did a pretty good job. The candidates are back safely, right? Although we didn't realize the Galvadian army was after the abandoned communication tower. We've just received word from the Dalit Dukedom. The Galbadian army has agreed to withdraw as long as the communication tower is repaired and the uplink remains operational. Well, in any case, Galbadia is out of there. We could have made more money if they'd stayed and caused more ruckus. Hey, you did pretty well. Of course, he's my best student. He's not very social, though. The results for the exam should be announced soon. Just stick around here. 
How did it feel to be out there on the battlefield? Hmm, let's see. Whatever. Whatever. That's great. Whatever. <laughs> Well, I'm just glad nobody got hurt. Okay, you don't actually go to your room yet. Um, what you do is, it's like, you head over this way, and we're going to have a conversation with Cypher. 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 Whatever his name is. You hear about the communication tower in Dalit? We would have been heroes if it weren't for that withdrawal order. You were only looking for a fight. My dear instructor, I am hurt. Those are rather cruel words for an inspiring student. A mediocre instructor like you will never understand. Cypher, don't be so stuck on yourself. You'll take all responsibility for leaving the designated area. Isn't it the captain's duty to take the best possible action? Cypher, you'll never be a seed. Calling yourself a captain is a joke. So this is like the first, or I think it's the first time that Cypher is just kind of uh, like put down. Like uh, if you notice here, like he put his head down and things like that. So you can tell that what she said hurt to some extent. I mean, best you can on. 20 year old game. Cypher. You will be disciplined for your irresponsible behavior. You must follow orders exactly during combat. But I'm not entirely without sympathy for you. I don't want you all to become machines. I want you all to be able to think and act for yourselves. I am. Headmaster Sid, you have some business in your office. There are so many issues at hand here. So this is going to like kind of show up a little bit later, but uh, he doesn't want them to become mindless machines. So th he, they are working for an organization, and generally you want conformity throughout an organization in terms of business, um, which is good for a business. But Sid doesn't want that. He wants uh, you to be able to think for yourself. Very... Uh, important part to keep in mind right there so he also showed cypher some sympathy he didn't just uh you know berate him for what he did so it's worth knowing that um it's worth noting that and just so it's aware and these guys here it'll come up later and i'll be sure to explain Seed shall not act beyond the exact wording of a contract. That even shows us some more based on that statement he just made right there, the first thing that he says. We are not a non-profit organization. This incident will be a hard-learned lesson for the Dalit Dukedom. They'll they'll know they will now know to be more generous when hiring seed. So you can see kind of a clear divide there in terms of the way they're talking about it. All students who participated in today's field exam report to the second floor hallway. I repeat, report to the second floor hallway. We're gonna hit the save since I haven't saved yet. Oops. So all you do here is just talk to everybody if they have anything to say. What's up? They said they're going to call out names one at a time. 
Bujin was saying, it'd be all your fault if Cypher doesn't become a siege. She can be pretty scary, you know. Rage! Dink, Zell Dink. Oh, yeah! See ya! Nomad, Nomad from Squad B, please step forward. That is all. Dismiss. These are the four students that passed today's exam. First of all, congratulations. However, from now on as a member of SEED, you will be dispatched all over the world. We are proud to introduce SEED, Baum Gardens Mercenary Soldiers. SEED soldiers are combat specialists. But that is only one aspect to SEED. When the time comes, Headmaster, it's almost time for the meeting. Please make it short. Seed is a valuable asset to Garden. Its reputation is solely dependent on each one of you. Handle your mission with care. Is that what you wanted to say, sir? Here is your Seed rank report. So all these little things that uh, I was talking about you can do to get a higher Seed rank, they're going to show up here so you can kind of see or right, well, not quite here, it'll be a little bit further in the future. I'm looking forward to the guard. That's what I'm He's whispering this to them, too. Not saying it out loud. Do your best, even if you don't stand out. Try to control your emotions a little. Finally, a Gunblade Specialist. This ends the C inauguration. Dismissed.